This video, in this video, I'm going to just show you how to roll some dice, uh, multiple dice, and uh, create a game situation, if you will. And so, I do have another video on just random numbers and how to how to create random numbers. And if you have like a let's say 50 sided die and you want to go one through 50, you can. And you could watch that video on random numbers. But in this video, I'm going to assume that we can do this more quickly. So I'm going to roll two dice, and so I'm going to call this die one. And in, to roll a die, the first thing I need to do is create, get a random number and, and then decide how many sides my die, my die has. So this is going to be a, an eight-sided die. So I'm going to go eight times my, my random number here. And then I'm going to add one. And then I'm going to cast that as an integer. Now again, I'm doing this quite quickly, but if this doesn't make sense to you, please watch the video on random numbers. And I need my second die. So my second die is a uh, six-sided die, just your standard six-sided die. So this is going to look very similar, but this time I'm going to want just a six-sided instead of eight. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some output. Uh, I'm going to call this actually die one and I am going to output whatever that outcome is, just like this. And on the next line, I am going to put die 2, and I'm going to concatenate here and throw in die 2's outcome. Now, I realize here I need to change this to die 2, and now all should be good. Okay, so that's my very quick program that will create roll 2 die and output the 2 die. Uh, and so I got a 7 and a 3 on the first first roll. One die is 7 and one die is 3. Now it might sound confusing that one die says 7, but remember I'm rolling an 8-sided die on die 1 and a 6-sided die on die 2 there. So I've rolled 2 die. Now obviously sometimes uh, you are playing a game like Monopoly or whatever game you enjoy playing, a board game, where you roll 2 die and you need to add them together. Now you could have the user add them together, but obviously you want your program to do it. So, it'd probably be easiest just right up here to create another integer called a sum, or a sum of die, however you want to call it, or sum of dice. And all you need to do is do die 1 plus die 2. And there's my sum of dice. And my output on my third line is I'll put total space, and we will simply just output the sum of dice there. All right. We'll run this and take a look at the three lines of output here on the bottom. And there we go. I'll run it a couple times just so we can verify that everything is, seems to be working here. We got a 5, a 1, and they add a 6. We've got a 3, a 6, and they add to 9. We got a 6, a 3, and they add to 9. We got a 5, a 4, they add to 9. I'm getting lots of 9s. There's 1, 1, and they add to 2. Another 9, a 10, a 4. A five. All right, I've run it a few times. Looks like it's working right, and I have no doubt there that it is working right. I just want to show you different examples and that it truly is randomizing things in there. Uh, so there you go. There's a basic game uh, where you roll two dice, add them together, and that's your result. Of course, we could make this game more complex, where we now have some if statements or control statements and have the game do various things if uh, certain numbers happen. But there's your basic game rolling, uh, game your dice rolling for games.